All week long, knowing, you know, we were going to have you on as an anesthesiologist, part of what I've got to ask you, I mean, folks, I hope you've gotten a lot from this conversation here today about, you know, uh, a real life story about someone who's who's gotten a lot healthier, lost a lot of weight and is, is as I said, a, a real example. I want to just ask you something. When we have surgery. And when we have anesthesia, when, when we have anesthesia, sure. when we have anesthesia, what the hell is it that feels so good? Uh, it is. Probably, can you explain? Can you just explain that to me. It is probably propofol. Mm. Propofol is the white stuff. Oh well, no, no. Let's break it down. You know, I hope we have time. So people say, oh, propofol killed Michael Jackson. Yeah. Propofol did not kill Michael Jackson. Okay. Propofol given in a situation that is not designed for mm -hmm. and not monitored in the proper way resulting. The reason trained professionals like me use those drugs mm -hmm. and do years of training is because in the absence of proper management, they can be dangerous. Okay. They, people stop breathing, et cetera. Mm -hmm. When you know what you're doing and have the equipment and the monitoring, you know, anesthesiology has gotten exceedingly safe. Mm -hmm. What probably feels good to you is the propofol. People mm. wake up feeling kind of euphoric. And so that's what Michael was saying. Hey, I don't know if he went for plastic surgery, had this, and said this right. feels great, and says I want this right. forever and a day thereafter. There is no role for propofol outside of an OR or a hospital or surgery center. Mm -hmm. Okay.